Christmas. What does it really mean? Christmas is receiving the love of God through Jesus. This Christmas, more than ever, I am so glad that there is more to life than what we live on earth. We have everlasting life and eternal hope as God's children. Welcome to the Christmas episode of Reflections. I'm Abigail Shafter. My heart is heavy and my world has been turned upside down over the last couple of weeks. Some of you may know that it has been a very difficult time for my family. My brother-in-law Dinesh was murdered and we are still struggling to make sense of it all. In this difficult time, the only thing that has helped me to stay strong and anchor myself amidst this turmoil is my faith in God. This Christmas was the hardest one of all, but amidst the grief, the mind-numbing pain of loss. I am so thankful for Christmas and what it stands for because it reminds me of the hope I have and the unshakable love of God in every season of my life. Christmas over the years brings back happy memories of family and fun times together. Christmas means different things to different people. For some, it is non-stop parties. For others, it is time with family. Giving and receiving gifts embodies Christmas for most of us. Christmas, what does it really mean? In the midst of our grieving, Christmas has meant more than the years before, as it has been stripped off of all the things that we surround it with. The decorations are up, but this year it just rankles my spirit and I don't have the energy to take it off. So the lights twinkle and reflect the tears that pour down my face intermittently. The house is empty and I don't have the heart to entertain anyone at this time. But on Christmas morn, I sat alone in prayer and I thank God for sending his son Jesus for me. The true meaning of Christmas resonated in my heart this Christmas like never before. Christmas is love, God's love for you, God's love for me. Jesus was God's love personified and of all the verses that describe God's gift of love, none is so well known as John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God so loved the world. The very essence of Christmas is captured in this verse. Three words pop out as we look at this scripture. The first word is love. God's love was shown to us through sending Jesus. That first Christmas, the gift of love was a baby wrapped in clothes, lying in a manger, a vulnerable baby that would reconnect God and man. Jesus was that gift of love. Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. And over these last few weeks, I have been so thankful for Emmanuel, the God who is always with me. Jesus walked this earth to show us what God was really like. Jesus reached out to the marginalized, the lost, the sick, the lonely. Jesus lived and loved and showed us the unconditional love of God, our Heavenly Father. So the first thing we celebrate at Christmas is love. Today, this love resounds in my heart more than ever. Even in this time of deep sorrow, the love of God is the one constant in my life and the one thing that anchors me. Remember that Jesus came into this world to be born as a baby in Bethlehem because God so loved you and me. God's love is what we celebrate at Christmas. 
I am so glad I experienced that love 17 years ago at a Christmas carol service held by People's Church. At that time, my family was going through some very difficult times and we needed a miracle. My brother was in a huge mess. There was no way out. I went up for prayer because I needed Jesus to touch my situation. But that night, God in his mercy touched me and changed my life forever. My situation didn't change, but I did. Looking back, I realized my life was very shallow. I had everything that money could buy, yet there was a gaping void within me that only God could fill. That night, as I gave my life to Jesus, something changed deep within me. I began to weep as I realized how far away from God I was. As I confessed my sin, I felt a burden being lifted off me. I felt the love of God wash over me, filling every void. An amazing peace came into my heart. The circumstances my family was in didn't change for many years, yet... God gave me the strength and the peace to know that he was in control. Receiving the love of God was the best thing that ever happened to me. Today, I am fulfilled. And even amidst my difficult circumstances, I can hold my head up high. My life has greater meaning and it is all because I experienced the love of God 17 years ago. God loves each and every one of us and longs for us to know that love. This Christmas, would you open your heart and ask God to fill you with his love? It is available to you just as it was available to me because God so loved the world. The second aspect of Christmas I want to leave with you is giving. At Christmas, let us remember that God gave. He gave of his best. He gave unselfishly. He gave his only son. When you think of Christmas and giving, what comes to mind? Presence. This Christmas, I want to challenge you to be radical. Give more than a present, just like God the Father, give of your best. Give unselfishly, give generously. This Christmas, would you give of yourself, give your time to your close family, a spouse or children? Would you reach out to your aged parents and spend some quality time with them? None of us are assured of tomorrow. So spend your time wisely and make sure those you love know how much you love them. Finally, we come to believing. Believing is a crucial aspect of Christmas. Why do we celebrate? What does it all mean? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. This Christmas, more than ever, I am so glad that there is more to life than what we live on earth. We have everlasting life and eternal hope as God's children. Especially when we lose loved ones, this can be a great source of comfort. Death is not the end. If we believe, we will receive life eternal. My friends, this Christmas, I pray you will experience the love of God and believe in that love poured out through Jesus Christ. He loves you so much that he doesn't want you to perish, but have eternal life. God does not only love Christians. He does not only love those who do good. He does not only love the rich, the famous, the talented, the good looking. The Bible clearly tells us that God loves the whole world. Would you believe that Jesus died for your sin and mine so that we could be reconciled back to God? You may be sitting there thinking, can God really love me? 
my life is so messed up can he really love me or forgive me for all the things i have done you may be feeling condemned and alone i want to assure you that god loves you the love of god turned my life around 17 years ago and today he can do the same for you so what is christmas christmas is receiving the love of god through jesus may the christ of christmas transform your life as he did mine let us pray heavenly father thank you for showing us how much you love us that you gave us your son jesus that first christmas as we celebrate that love draw us all closer to you if there's anyone here that has never experienced your unconditional love i pray you will reach out and touch them right now lord some of us are grieving so fill our grieving hearts with your love your peace and inner joy bless each home represented here may you be glorified we ask it all through the matchless name of your son jesus christ amen during this season take time to reflect on the gift of love you can give and receive i will be taking a short break from reflections for a few weeks as i spend time with the family and refresh myself for the new season stay blessed until i see you again god bless you